Longtime viewers of this channel know that I am a DJ of over 10 years and I also have a lot of experience in the lighting sphere. But one thing you may not know is that I am also a musician. I played piano and drums both for a long time and I recently just picked up my first acoustic drum set in, oh gosh, eight or eight or nine years. It's been way too long and I've you know missed being able to play the drums. You also may know if you're a recurrent viewer of this channel that I'm a fan of the brand Phoenix Pro. I think they're putting out a lot of fan fantastic value affordable pro audio products, especially microphones and in-ear monitor systems. I've reviewed a couple on this channel in the past and I think they offer a ton of value for the price. And today I've got something from Phoenix Pro that's a little bit different. This is the PTD-10 seven piece drum microphone kit. It kind of came to me at the perfect time as I just barely got this new drum set. And if you are a drummer yourself who's wanting to record your drum sessions or some practicing or some songs or YouTube videos, this this is a great option or perhaps you're in a little band and you're gigging and you want to be able to mic up your drum set but you're just performing at places that doesn't provide that for you this may be the solution for you this whole system comes in at a more affordable price than some standalone mics from the bigger brands and in this video we're gonna unbox it I'm gonna show you everything that comes inside the packaging tell you about each of the microphones individually and then I'll do some sound demos on my own drum set now I'm not a pro recording professional uh, I've not recorded drums before but we're gonna learn together and we're gonna give it a try now before we dive into opening this package up if you're not already consider subscribing ring the notification bell liking the video or leaving a comment or any combo of those above all of those help the channel grow and I would of course appreciate you for it but let's not waste any more time let's dive into taking a look at the Phoenix Pro PTD 10 so on this channel I often start with the packaging Phoenix Pro always excels in this aspect it comes in a really nice box with a carrying handle full color pictures of what you're getting on the front so you can kind of get a sneak peek right there before we open the box up. Uh, they talk about their warranty and contact info on the side and then some specs which we're gonna address as we talk about each individual microphone type. Now, the box contents, you can see right here on the side, you're gonna get a bass drum mic, four snare slash tom mics, two overhead condenser mics, two mic clips uh, for the overheads, four mic clips for the tom and snare, uh, and then thread insert, adapters, four of those, and then a carrying case, okay? So let's crack this package open and take a look at what's inside. Um, the first thing you know that strikes me as being a good value from Phoenix is the carrying case, which I just mentioned. A lot of Phoenix products come with this, and it, honestly, it just shows me that Phoenix Pro cares about their products. Um, the case itself, is really, really nice feeling. It's got this, it's not like carbon fiber, but kind of just this textured coating right there with the Phoenix Pro logo, um, a nice handle on top. It feels really sturdy and the whole package is just really well presented. So if you're like gigging with this, taking it out for live audio scenarios, this is gonna be a great way to haul your mics around. Now, there's also, these latches have little locks. I mean, they're nothing high security, but you can kind of keep the latches from flipping open while you're transporting, which is nice to see. So if I flick those latches up and then tilt the case so you can see this is how everything comes inside also really nice to see here let me set this manual down also really nice to see uh, the foam is like pre-cut to exactly fit the different components and when the case is closed it's relatively thin and compact which I like to see now we've got the manual right here the manual is just gonna kind of talk about the specs of the individual mics and they're also gonna you know have graphs of the frequency chart uh, the wiring of the XLR the polar patterns of the microphone this is a mix of cardioid and super cardioid which we'll go over in just a moment and then um, I mean that's really kind of all of it other than that you kind of should know how to use microphones you, you plug them in put them in your mixer and away you go okay so that's your manual now let's talk about all the different components individually we'll start uh, I'm guessing in the middle here is going to be our bass drum microphone so I'm gonna pull my box back up so I can read you the specs of all these as I go okay this is their PDM 33 bass slash kick drum microphone okay it's a all metal construction apart from like the clip right here but this is really really heavy and it feels really really nice okay on the back you've got your xlr connection and then you've got your um microphone stand uh connection right here with the thread adapter inside that you can screw in or out. Now, this PDM33 is a dynamic moving coil microphone, so you don't need phantom power for it. It has a frequency response from 20 hertz to 16,000 hertz, so you, compared to the other microphones, this extends lower to get those low sub bass kick drum notes. Uh, it's got a cardioid pickup pattern, so not as narrow as some, but still directional in its pickup. And it has 0.9 millivolts 
per Pascal microphone sensitivity. If you don't know what that means, neither do I, but someone out there cares about microphones and wants to know that info. So this is the base kick drum mic, the PDM 33. And then you're gonna get four of these little mics right here. These are gonna be your Tom slash snare mics, okay? These are model PDM 34, little more compact than the, uh, the bass drum microphone right there. Same metal construction, feel really, really nice. And these are also a dynamic moving coil microphone, no phantom power needed for these. They have a frequency response of 40 to 18,000 hertz, so a little higher in their pickup. And then they are a cardioid pickup pattern, so again, directional but not super, super narrow. Their sensitivity is 1.8 millivolts per Pascal. Okay, so you're gonna get four of these in the case. And then you're gonna get two of these. These are your condenser, your overhead microphones, okay? Um, all metal, feel very, very nice. You've got your connection right there on the bottom, the kind of chrome silver uh, grill at the top there. These are the PDM35. These are condenser microphones, so they require uh, phantom power to operate. They have a frequency response from 40 to 20,000 hertz. Uh, super cardioid, so these have the more narrow pickup pattern, they're not as broad. Um, and these have a sensitivity of three millivolts per Pascal. So I'm gonna be guessing that these are the most sensitive of the microphones where the bass drum mic, the PDM33, is your least sensitive just because it's handling the highest sound pressures, okay? Um, the sensitivity, yeah, we talked about that. And then all of these, you know, there's things like operating temperature are negative 20C to 60C, which I think should cover every temperature that we're gonna ever perform in. Um, and other than that, uh, that's really all of the uh, info that you need for these microphones. So you're gonna get two of these, a single bass drum mic, and then four of the kick or the tom slash snare mics now that's not all you're getting in the case you're going to get two of these standard microphone clips for the overhead condensers uh in the case you've got these knobs for the clips um which we have right here these are what clamp to the rim of the snare or the tom so four little knobs four of these clips. Uh, and then uh, you've got the thread adapters which are inside each of the clamps. And that's what comes in the case. So if I put this back in here, put my bass drum mic, turn this like this, uh, or maybe like this. There we go. Bass drum mic, snare mic. So this is how the kit looks with everything in it. I'm gonna pull the others out of the plastic just so you can see. Okay, and here's the full kit with everything unwrapped. It looks so nice in its presentation. Everything is very well packaged and protected for transport. Now, I'm going to do some sound demos. Before I do that, I just wanted to comment again on the overall quality and feel of the product. Nothing in here feels cheap or low end in any aspect. All of it is smooth, very polished, very hefty and uh, I would be more than happy to use this in a live scenario. Now, we're gonna do a sound demo, and like I mentioned in the intro, I am not a recording professional. Um, I've actually never recorded drums in my life, but we're gonna give this a try. I feel like I have enough experience with uh, mixers and microphones to know a little bit about what I'm doing, and I've been doing some research as far as placement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the sound of the different toms on my drum set individually, the snare, and then the overheads, the cymbals, and the bass drum just kind of do some individual sounds and then because my mixer only has four microphone inputs I'm gonna do a mix with the bass the snare and the two overheads trying to get the most balanced sound that I can now I'm not going to compress or equalize or do anything to the sound, it's gonna be raw. And that can be good or bad, you're gonna really hear the unaltered sound of the microphones but maybe they don't sound as good as they could if you had experience with the mixing component. But I don't know how to do that yet, I'm still learning. So you're just gonna get to hear the microphones in their full glory. So let's cut to that.
And there you have it. That is the Phoenix Pro PTD-10 seven-piece drum microphone set. If you like what you saw and heard, I will include a link down in the description where you can read more about these mics. And if you want to, you can purchase there as well. Doing so helps me grow the channel and I would appreciate you for it. If you're not looking to pick up this today, you can at least subscribe, like the video, leave a comment and ring the notification bell. All those things help me continue bringing you product reviews each and every week. But that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time time.